you are looking through the eyes of a very human-like robot. This is Valkyrie. It's NASA's six-foot humanoid. It's designed to work in disaster zones and even go to space, but it's just arrived here at the Edinburgh Center for Robotics so that programmers here could push the boundaries of how humans and robots work together. This is an exciting and very complex piece of machinery. Its hardware capabilities are amazing. At the same time, you need to make it do the things that we take for granted. For you and me, walking, balancing, it comes to us naturally. For getting a robot to do something like that takes a lot of effort. What would you aim to get this machine to be able to carry out by itself? I'd like to be able to very benign things, everyday actions, to be able to do what a human being does. It's not going to be hurt in a disaster situation, so we'd like it to be able to naturally go in and use the tools that human beings do and to be able to use them to rescue somebody in a disaster situation. Robot in space is not a new thing. There's now a Robonaut, which is a robot with just the upper torso on the ISS space station. It has not yet done any spacewalks outside, but I think the Valkyrie is taking that to the next generation, potentially working on the surface of Mars, for example. If any one of the sensors are off, it creates a balance issue and it sort of triggers on other problems like the, the balance control, for example. Yeah, a complicated case. machine yeah. that yeah. has lots of knock-on effects, which is yes, why sir. robotics is not easy. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's why we're in it. What we really want to do is take the technology that we develop here, balance, agility, control, and feed it back into things like exoskeletons for people who have suffered some sort of disability. So if we can understand the technology underlying that, we can feed that back and really create huge benefits for the society.